What's up ladies and gents and welcome to another fabulous League of Legends Top 5 Plays presented by Potato Monster. From quick reactions to Clutch 1v5s, this week has it all, so take a seat and prepare to get your mind blown away. Kicking off the episode, we have Arcus Vin on Annie for our number 5 play, and right from the start she's gonna blow through her cooldowns, dealing heavy damage and then flash dodging Cassiopeia's ult as Tabers grabs the kill. She then retreats as Nocturne starts a tower diver, and right after his shield fade, she cues him and starts to kite some more, and then ends it with an incinerate for the double kill with just under 50 health. Scoring in at 4th place is Prismatical and Ezreal, and as we head into the clip we see the enemy team is on Baron and most of his team is down, but when it looks like the enemy team will get it for sure, he starts up True Shot Barrage, sending it through the Rain Man for a kill, hitting Baron and continuing on to kill X-Double for the double. Thanks to this masterfully lined up shot, Cassiopeia is able to kill Caitlyn and finish off Baron for the total 3-0 exchange with Baron buff. Coming in at our number 3 spot for this week is really g by on Karma. Right from the start we see a team fight is about to ensue as Blitzcrank flashes and they chase him but then Karma splits to get on the rest of the enemy team as the Ash Arrow comes in and they go in guns blazing but very shortly after Ash goes down and it comes down to a 2v4. Karma chases and ignites LeBlanc for a kill and then she turns to get on the enemy vein but gets stunned. Right after she keeps up and positions herself for a brilliant one shield triple despite the flash from Akali. Landing in at second place, we have B Crenshaw and Cassiopeia. And to set the scene, we are a dragon and her team is getting cleaned up. And as you can see, the scores are very close, but all of a sudden she commits to Vigar and just barely misses out on the kill as they all charge her. And then she ults all four players, killing GP and melting down Vladimir and Sivir while simultaneously killing Vigar as he comes in despite all the pressure and being inside his event horizon. She then chases down Alistar for the unofficial 1v5 pentakill with brilliant target focus and flawless skill shots while under so much pressure. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Red Mercy playing on the Blanc, and immediately we jump into the battle as Nautilus gets snared, and here comes Ari with her Q, and then her ultimate as Red Mercy jumps away and Ari falls, so we slow it down, and right before she gets the killing blow, she avoids the damage by activating her W to go back with under 30 health, as she actually picks up the kill on Nautilus and then retreats. Being persistent, Ari chases for some time, but gets scared off by Nidalee, so Red Mercy decides to head back into the jungle after being chased and pulls out the clutch for a second time. Before this clip ends, I want to throw a shout out to Red Mercy. I'm sure many of you know Red Mercy because he has a fantastic League of Legends based YouTube channel, but if you don't, I would highly recommend checking out his stuff right here for some really sick League of Legends moments and other great stuff. And the winner of this week's player's choice is all three of them. Yeah, you heard me correctly. All three plays that were up for player's choice this past week were so fantastic and had a difference of votes of about 10 altogether. We decided to play all three of them so everyone can get the chance to see it. We think these clips all deserve the $10 Ryan Point prize, so congrats to you guys again. That about wraps up week 61 of our League of Legends top 5 plays, so thanks everyone for watching, congrats again to everyone that won, and I'll leave you with this. Our number 3 played showed the power of karma, so I want to know what you guys would do to change her up and make her more prominent in normal and tournament play. Leave your answer in the comment section below, and the answer we like the most will win a Riot Nasty skin. So thanks everyone, and I'll see you back here for week 62.